I hope you all are fine. Uh, in my previous video, we have talked about the port and how we launched this port in the Kubernetes and uh, the launching of two methods via CLI as well as we have write a code of in a YAML format. So we have seen that the ports launching uh, can be launched via two via two things, where which one is the CLI and one is the YAML. So today I want to uh, teach you about a very good uh, component uh, or resource in the Kubernetes, which is replication controller. RC. So let me write it here replication controller. So before that, why we are using the replication controller here? In, in port, let we have launch a port. Uh, okay, so we have launch a port. Once the port has been launched, so the main drawback of the port is right now once in the simple launching a port it's no one is looking on it means if if the port die port dead so no will be uh, relaunch it so there is means it's same as it is like we run the container in the docker so there is a one uh, means uh, 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 right now we have means a uh, use case of here the means to we need someone who continuously looking on it okay so who can look in on, uh, looking to uh, port and if port died so it will be relaunch again so here is the means uh, uh, the controller will come come up and we'll see the port continuously and monitor it once it's down it so it will be relaunch so in container we have means uh, uh, so the things we means uh, if we have a uh, port okay or we have a container which is a c1 let's let's say we have a container so we a container have some ip address okay if we say to port that you have to continuously look in onto the this ip so it will be work means we can monitor it via means networking or something like that but what if the container is that dead or have been crashed sorry <clears throat> dead so who will be means looking to this uh, the ip will be changed because in we know that in uh, kubernetes uh, or docker the ip of the container is coming from the dhcp so it may be uh, first time you launch this uh, it's like a means <coughs> it's like a means uh, 0 0.1 and now we have you have 0 0.2 so this is maybe a reason the port ip will be changed right now so the ip is changed now uh, so we can means uh, to launch this thing uh, means to looking continuously uh, ip address of this uh, uh, container if container is down or something like that so the ip will be changed so this is the one one reason we means uh, to uh, monitoring the port so how can we monitor it via ip address or via something else we need to be done it so we can means monitor the container or port with ip address but we have a drawback that ip will change continuously once the port is uh, is down and get new ip then it will be means no one can access my application from there so uh, so for that we have means to I introduce a uh, uh, things need to be monitored with via RC and it helps to means uh, launch the port and also means help to monitor continuously to the port with the help of labels. 
uh, levels will be help out to means to continuously monitor the board and if board is uh, if this, this that labels let's suppose we have the app equal to web label we have if these labels are not present in the port or this type of port which has the label of port and web is not available then your duty their controller duty is launch a new one so now we have free from the ip we are not looking the ip address here so the one thing we have means sort out here with the help of labels but what is the means replication how it will be work means uh, a program which let's suppose we have a program which continuously monitor the container or port with the help of labels but who will search out these things so there is something program it here which is name is selector we are using the selector and in selector we will define the labels and labels will means let's suppose we have the labels of web dot app if these type of labels or selector you will find it in the your code and your code will be should be up and running if it's not so go on to the uh, code and launch another port with the same label and uh, with the same labels a and selector so let's see uh, we will uh, how can we monitor and what is the replication controller i have told you means i will be uh, share you about other things as well about to uh, replicate replication controller we have means a replica as well so i will let you know about the replicas here as well so <clears throat> let's see we'll move on to the code and then uh, I will teach you about uh, how can we uh, do this thing. So I have already uh, written a code which is RC code. So we have means uh, 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 I have already uh, means uh, let me uh, copy this code and then I will means put it out here. So we have means uh, RC code in here uh, with us. So one is the means uh, our API version we have means uh, that is the same as it is. We are continuously looking into that. Uh, with the kind of means a resource is a replication controller. Then metadata means the name of your replication controller it is my RC. And then we have the specification. So forget about the something uh, right now. We have the selector. We use a selector here, which is the name of the selector and the labels of the selector is like that app and web you will be see here. So selector will be like app and web and then app and view if selector will continuously monitoring the port means continuously monitoring this port. If port is down, the selector will use this thing means this code, this template, you have something in your bucket that you have to launch the port uh, with with the help of this template we, we make a, a simplified template to the for the uh, replication control in in order to uh, means produce the port again so the selector will means go to the template metadata the name of the port will be like my port and labels will be the app and uh, web and then it will be launched with the specification of this so first this one and then this code will be done so the, here means we have means talk about the replication controller so i have the put it down the replicas here the replicas means we if we have means a one one port but suddenly my request of the services have been increases we need a multiple port to be launched so we just add the parameter in the specification of the replicas name of the uh, value of the replicas so it will be means whatever you can write it here replicas is three so it will be go launch three port for you at the time you launching the things uh, and it makes a replica of same as it is right now we are in the specification of your container so this part is like the monitoring part 
means continuously monitoring if the monitoring is down so it will be uh, come up here and check these parameters and launch the port with the help of this code <coughs> this code so i hope you understand the code as well so let me uh, check if something is running in my uh, bucket or not so kubectl get rc i hope i have once so let me delete it uh, delete uh, rc or means uh, rc my rc <coughs> so it's deleted so let check it the ports as well so one is the port is running which are not related to actually <coughs> actually my services or my rc kubectl delete i am going to delete this port as well my web okay <coughs> i think it's deployed by by the uh, maybe uh, a deployment no i think so let's run that code and check how we can we get our result uh, as per the uh, our code so i have already talk about the kind this is the kind is the replication controller means to replica means controller control your ports or monitoring your ports and make the replication as well if possible or if you need it and the name of the replication is metadata we have in define in the the uh, name is rc the specification part we always write the code means to the template or the specification of your container so right now we are means using selector to means monitor the always monitor these labels so app and the web and you if app and lab web uh, labels are not in present in in the in the in your ports so use this template and launch this port how many ports you will be defined in the replicas okay so let's check and done it right now i am just mm, disable this part so we will use it after that so let's kubectl get to oh, sorry create minus f rc so now rc is created my rc let me see the one is the rc have been created let's see the port is created or not my port is already created so now we have to check the levels as well minus l app so you know my level will be app and web and 15 second it's ago in this up and running so we can let's delete this port accidentally the port has been deleted the previously we once we have deleted the port there is no one who can looking to your port continuously so your port is dead the port is dead so we now we have a uh, put a monitor on the port that if port is down so you have to be launch that port so let's see it will be done by or not is deleted so now it's deleted it will be let's see it's created new one or yeah yes it's created the previously name is the kg7 or it's now v6s so there is means replication controller is continuously looking your port and uh, giving your services as well so now we have to move on the replication means to apply the replicas right now we what we have seen in get rc in replication controller we have desire is one current is one and ready is already one so let's see we have increased the load in our uh, domain or in our web server so i just created a replica of three so replicas means three ports should be launched so we have already means done it so just apply this command it's simple our warning shown so you don't need to be worry about it so get get kubectl get rc how many desire we have and how many uh, uh, running on right now desire we have three current is three and ready is three so let's see how many ports we are now with three are running as per our demand so the replication so in nutshell the uh, uh the replication controller is always looking lo looking to your uh is always looking to your let me so replication controller means 
continuously watching pool with the help of selector a selector is a program like that is continuously monitoring in selector we have defined the name like we defined the verb equal to when and also in replication control replicas of your of port so how many ports you need you just define in the replica uh, replicas uh, in your code so you need if three so the port three three ports will be launched at a time so the use case of means port is uh, is means previously once we launch the port simple port launch but there is no one who can monitoring no monitoring is available it's like simple a container launching there is no uh, container launch there is no buddy who can means continuously watch your container and if container is down so you have to be manually uh, up your container uh, means a human resource will be required here so in port we have means additional feature add in and make the reduce the human efforts here the source name is replication controller replica replication controller will provide you replicas as well as control your port if with the help of selector okay and we have means replica set as well uh, i will talk about in my next class we have the deployment as well we will talk about in my upcoming class as well so the main thing in the replication controller is selector simple there is nothing fancy or nothing rocket science is in it uh, so we will talk check in the uh, replication replicas set and deploy what is the difference between replica set and deployment and replication controller so i hope uh, the concept will be clear is uh, right now so we means once we uh, container is launched in the ip is required to monitor it but when we rc here we what don't worry about the uh, don't worry about the ip address we only working on the name okay so one thing is we have been clear here and one mm, and let's see uh, let's see describe the port and check uh, i have just forget about it so let's describe uh, describe port one port we can describe it and see what is in it so here we have replication controller with a controller name is the myrc we have already and what 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 we have in in the new here is uh let's see uh, we have the labels is here means a label will be continuously watching it means uh, a replication controller watching the labels continue if something is down it will be recreate again and the ip we, we have got this ip and it is by default and getting the d from the dhcp it's continuously changing that's why we we are means uh, remove the these thing from the uh, uh, pools and move into the rc so there has the uh, events will be occurred in successfully uh, three nodes and the nodes on this one http d and controller can create the controller we can also check the cube uh, uh, ctl describe uh, of rc my rc name is my rc so here you have means check all the things the name of the default the selector we are using f and f labels are the web so the selector will also check this one and also labels it okay and then we have the current three desired three and if something is failed in your uh, replicas so it will be come up here and you can check it and the image is the httpd and all the things are this then message or and uh, means a detail of the rc uh, the port template we have defined it the a when web i hope you understand all the concept of uh, rc and the uh, things we will be discuss about the replication controller uh, i hope you understand very well if you have any problem so let me know please uh, i will uh, continuously my video uh, we will talk about in future the one is the uh, replica set and then deployment uh, thank you guys thank you guys watching with this video thanks if you have any question and problem so please let me know and give the suggestion bye